Qatar participates in an Arab League emergency meeting as Israel withdraws from its deadly raid in Janine. There has been an unprecedented surge in divorces in Qatar. Stay tuned to find out more. Qatar witnesses 72% annual increase in visitors despite recent dip. And finally, Qatar's Al Wakr Sports Club has eyes on an Egyptian Ahli midfielder. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar joined an emergency meeting of the Arab League Council in Cairo on Tuesday to discuss the latest Israeli aggression in the West Bank. At least 12 people were killed in the biggest raid in decades over a span of just two days. Palestinian officials at the meeting called on Arab nations present to adopt measures to assist Palestinians in resisting the ongoing Israeli aggression. That came just hours before Israel on Wednesday declared an end to what has been labeled as its most significant assault on the Janine refugee camp in over 20 years. And now Qatar witnessed a staggering surge in divorce cases throughout the month of May, experiencing a monthly rise of over 148%. The Planning and Statistics Authority reported a total of 159 recorded divorces during that period. However, it also noted a significant monthly increase of around 42% in the number of marriage contracts in the Gulf states. This stands in stark contrast to figures from April of the same year, which recorded only 64 divorces and 232 marriage contracts. And in more facts and figures, tourism has taken center stage in Qatar's monthly statistics bulletin with a dramatic yearly visitor influx of nearly 72% compared to May 2022. Qatar still welcomed a grand total of approximately 285,000 global visitors in May despite a minor 12% dip in the previous month. The majority were jet setters from GCC countries making up 37% of the total. And in sports, Qatar's Al Wakr Sports Club will soon sign Egypt's Al Ahli midfielder Hamdi Fathi. Discussions between the two clubs have already taken place and an agreement is expected shortly. Fathi's signing would mark the final addition to Al Wakr's roster. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.